What's going on guys? Poet here. I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty lately. Like, a lot. And beyond just the crashes and the questionable looking textures I've seen, I feel like a little kid again. Like, I was put right back in 2008 or 2009 when the first Modern Warfare 2 came out. You guys fucking learn how to actually play the fucking game and fucking Shoot a gun, dog. Learn how to fucking shoot a gun, you fucking Ryan. You were getting upset, man. You were just, it was a skill issue, bro. You just kept getting stomped. I was honestly impressed that you got it, it's great. I love every second of it. If you've been around the channel for a while, all 60 of you, which, thank you by the way, probably know that I swing a lot more towards Tarkov than I do any other game. That being said, after playing DMZ a whole metric ton and comparing it to Tarkov, I think that I like DMZ more than Tarkov. Right now, at least. Right now. DMZ is like... If Tarkov had a little baby game that was dumbed down to like its absolute core mechanics. It, imagine Tarkov if losing your gear meant only losing your armor and then the very next raid you went into you got the same exact armor back within like 15 minutes. You got a free gun every two hours which that time can be reduced if you just survive. It's such a forgiving game mode. I, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I've come from Tarkov where I just get beat down into the ground or if it's just for ease of access. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. Registered, bro. On my screen you went fucking flying. I just killed them all in the helicopter. <laughs> I just killed them all in the fucking helicopter. Holy shit! <laughs> I love both games. Even if Tarkov makes me want to die some nights, I think they both do the whole PvP VE thing so 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 well. PvE on Tarkov and DMZ, I would argue, are on the same level of difficulty. They offer the same sense of accomplishment whenever you're, you know, killing the bosses, killing the um in DMZ they have like the boss helicopters. Um, and, the, and the strongholds, I think those are all super cool. They all have their own set of difficulty, and, and I just, I really enjoy that. However, DMZ's PvP is really easy. Personally, I feel like everyone that I've come across on DMZ plays very, very terribly. If you've seen the shorts I've posted in the last week, you'll know what I'm talking about. On occasion, sure, I get killed by other players or I get knocked down, whatever, but most nights, I mean, the guys can pretty much wipe out anyone we come across. It's nice when we go into this game and we are, you know, making a lot of progress, we're killing a lot of people, we feel good about it, but after a while, it, it's kind of repetitive, it's kind of boring. I don't even know if the enemy knows what hits them half the time, like, in this clip, I fly a bomb drone in and literally blow this guy up, I don't even think he knows what happened. And then we pretty much just wiped out their entire squad. We were a two-man. You couldn't do that shit on Tarkov. There's no way. You'd be wiped out in a second. And I'm not saying that Tarkov is worse than DMZ. I love Tarkov. Everything about that game, I just, I can't get away from. But DMZ is just so much easier when you want to go in and you want to stomp on some kids, you know? But Tarkov is in a really, really weird state right now, and I can't be bothered to devote any more time to it. There's a lot of negativity surrounding the game, which I usually don't let affect me, but with the recent events, if that's what you want to call them, the very huge and noticeable lack of content, which may or may not be BSG's fault, there's a lot going on in the world that simply this this channel will not get into and i know there are much bigger youtubers than myself that are covering all of the negativity surrounding this game so if you need to know what's going on with this game you can sure as shit find it from somebody else i don't know i just felt like talking about it i started playing tarkov around 2018 or something like that and i'm a little burnt out on it so maybe take my tarkov comments with a grain of salt dmz's kind of filled that hole though that tarkov's left so it's been nice. It's been a really nice change of pace and I really like playing DMZ with all the guys. It's kept me entertained now for like the, probably the last two or three weeks. 
If you're a Tarkov player looking for another experience that isn't Tarkov, I highly recommend DMZ. And if you're just looking for something new, if you're looking to maybe get into Tarkov, DMZ is a huge, huge, nice first step into that kind of game mode. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about it. I know the video is quite short, but I'm trying to put out some better stuff that may be a little shorter. I don't know. I'm kind of just playing around. The algorithm's weird. For all those who have subbed from the shorts, thank you. Welcome to the channel. And if anyone new is watching, hitting the sub button or the like button isn't required, but certainly goes a long way for me. Either way, let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you around.